on six. Right, exactly. And check on your loved ones. Check on your loved ones. Don't say you really checking on them. No, go over there. Make sure you see them. Make sure they're alive. Make sure they're breathing. Make sure everything's looking all right. Because you got people right now who say they're checking on their family and they're not checking on their family. And some of these people are able to get away with these heinous murders exactly, because exactly. people ain't doing their damn job. Exactly. They're too busy saying, I told somebody today. They said, oh, well, what if you was in a situation where, you know, somebody, your, your mother, your father did you, you know, did, did, did terrible things to you. What would you do? You know what I would do? I would still honor my mother and father. I ain't got to talk to them every damn day, but you know what I will do? Hey, mom, you all right? All right, good. Right. It's exactly. okay to, you can operate in love. You That's can right. operate in peace. That's but right. most people choose to operate in the very opposite. Fear, mm -hmm. anguish, mm -hmm. jealousy, hatred, lust. I mean, Queen T, love versus lust, man. We might as well just put out a damn DVD at this point. I know that's that is so, That is so true. That is so you true. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. it all goes together when you sit back and you really look at it. You know, so again, you know, guys, again, do things differently. They say when you're in the heat of the moment, which I know it's easier said than done, Take a deep breath. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They exactly. say you t take in three in and seven out. Take right. a deep breath. Reset uh, your mind. Exactly. Or uh, just leave the premises or whatever. Go somewhere. Go, you know, don't just try to just, you know, take all your anguish out on that person or whatever. Just go, just leave the premises and check yourself into a hotel, whatever the case. Go to. do something. Go somewhere by yourself or whatever. Run, run some laps. Do some push ups. Anything, Anything other than beating on people and shooting and killing. Let me tell you, it's terrible that we have to have this conversation because I'll be honest with you, some of these things that we talk about on our segments is very shocking to me exactly. because I would have never thought that I would be even living in a time like this. I remember the other day I was actually reading an article. A young man decided that he was going to kill his ex-girlfriend, and then he killed her three-year-old son. Oh my, oh my. And I do apologize, guys. This is a disclaimer. It is very graphic and very um, unfortunate. So by any means, please just understand that this is by the Fair, Fair Act um, of the United States of America that you are able to share information like this. Um, but again, you are also able to give disclaimers on your platforms to, and, and, you know, to acknowledge to the public that, hey, by no means is this to um, make any fun of. This is just to for education purposes only. Right, right. Um, he was in a relationship with his ex-girlfriend. He killed her and then threw her baby off of a 30-foot um, building. <laughs> oh, my God. Into a, into, a, into a canal a shallow canal and they heard the baby actually cry so for some time he might have been alive but unfortunately he you know he did transcend um on the other side with his mother but i think of things just like that mm -mm. what would make a person that angry that he would want to throw somebody's child off the side of a thing Ooh, going my... come on now mm -mm -mm. wow come on now y'all y'all just now I can honestly say I just doing stuff just to be doing it because you know damn right but right from wrong you know that was wrong exactly anybody exactly. who has a heart knows you don't what was the old saying when you was growing up you don't mess with seniors children and animals exactly mm-hmm mm-hmm that's true and and they disrespect every aspect of that they cussed out the grandmothers they disrespect the grandfathers they beat and kill the kids and kill the mamas and come on now. Mm -mm. I'm about sick and tired of it at this point and I can't imagine that other people ain't tired of it but when you got it in your face and you think it's the norm this is why we tell y'all even though we saying put the guns down you need to put the damn TV down too and the remote exactly that's true that is so true because mm. half that stuff ain't nothing but fake news and if it ain't fake news guess what it's just news to upset you or either give you a false impression on what you think is a reality exactly that is so true you know, and I think we spend so much time just looking at all this TV. And I just, I feel strongly that TV is a time waster. You know, you can be doing other positive things. And, you know, a lot of them spirits and all that stuff that those TV sent, um, sent out, it gets on you as well. You know, it goes you right, know, into you know, right into your mind. Exactly. You know, that's what stopped me from looking at scary movies because I used to always like the scary movies. And, and, and you know, a lady told me, don't watch that because that, all that, you know, evil and stuff, that's, those spirits can get out and, you know, you, before you know it, you paranoid at home. <laughs> and you don't know what's going on and you think it to yourself. And let me tell you, it's, it's ironic that you say that, Queen T, because 
you know, guys, like I said, you know, me and the queen, we've been knowing each other for some time. And what was the one thing these the millionaires used to always tell us? They used to say television is nothing but telling about lies, lies to your vision. vision. And it's true. And it's so true. So, and, and what, 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 what Malcolm X said, this cannot be televised. See, we got to pay attention to some of the things that are, have been said and read between the lines. Mm -hmm. When he said what he said, he already knew that if this got to the public eye and that the things that we're even giving you, these little small pieces, because let me tell y'all, we're giving y'all free game right now. Exactly. It's people It's people out here that's charging fifty to $5,000 for just to give y'all information that is television is telling lies to your vision mm -hmm. exactly <laughs> we exactly. know because we paid the price to be in the room in my mm -hmm. line queen t we paid the price it's... to be in the room amongst these millionaires which we're able to come back and, and, and give that to our community That's so we true. need for y'all to put it into action mm -hmm. like we said hey join the gym you want to seek revenge on your man because he cheated on you go join the gym exactly go 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 buy yourself a new pair of shoes and go out with your girlfriends and go laugh and drink and have a good time maybe don't drink drink some damn water because you know y'all people drink and go crazy so just drink some water <laughs> <laughs> and go hang out with drink, your friends drink, you know, some, drink some water with a lemon yeah, drink water with a lemon, get your alkaline together and keep it moving because, you know, some people can't hold their liquor. But, you know, do something more positive for yourself. You know, like they say, you know, if you're not growing, you're dying. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We got enough dying already. We got people killing each other every single second. So we don't really need that no, no more. All we, What we really need now is for the people to come together, for people to say, you know what? I'll listen to what a queen who cares says. I'll listen to what Loren Lux says. You know, they're telling me, hey, they may have gone through the same thing, but they chose to do differently. Let me tell you, the easy sucker way out is when you shoot and you kill somebody. That's the sucker way. Like, I'm right. sorry. I'm going to just call it what it is, Queen T. If you're going to deliberately kill somebody because you're mad, you're a sucker. That's true. And then I heard about, I don't know if you ever heard of this rapper called We, 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 we let me see, what do you say? We Real we real or something like that well anyway he a rapper here in atlanta he got shot the end of march and at a gas station and come to find out his own brother shot him and he died on <laughs> april the third april the third when i was traveling back to atlanta from new mexico and i say yeah they call him we real or something like that he did a lot of stuff here in atlanta and everything he did a lot of opening up um different football games and stuff and you know he was well known here I think he was like 37 and come to find out his own brother killed him. I say, ooh, I say, my God. You think about that. And my thing is, here's the thing. Now, we don't know the story. We're not 100% sure you guys are why he may have done what he did. But the bottom line is, again, when you want, when you do things like everybody, you think about yourself, you do doing something. So, you know, you step out of your selfishness a little bit and say to yourself, you know what, I need to make a better conscious decision because, hey, I might have a child, a grandmother, a sister, a cousin, a brother. You know what I mean? Come right, on, y'all. Right. Mm -hmm. Use your damn brain. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm sorry to say it like that, y'all, but sometimes I feel like y'all need to hear it raw and uncut. Exactly. You know, we they, can't keep coming do. to y'all right. being like, oh, hey, beautiful people. No, 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 no. <laughs> because you know what? Some people may not... Um, they may not be able to connect with someone like on that level. You, and, and I had somebody say to me yesterday, you know, I'm so happy that you're transparent because that's how I grew up. I grew up with a mother who was very transparent. Mm -hmm. And I grew up the same way. My grandmother and my mother, they laid it down. Mm -hmm. They laid it down. They, right. they, they, didn't, they, didn't, they didn't ease up on me. And I'm mm -hmm. thankful for that because it did allow me to realize that, mm -hmm. hey, you know, life is going to be tough. This world we live in is not going to be easy. I can see here and tell you so I'm blue in the face. Right. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. To be honest with you, it may not be all right. But if you have a sense of humor and you know that you're doing more good in this world and you're doing bad, you should be able to rest a little bit easier at night. Mm -hmm. That is so true. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it just sticking me to hear. You know, I know crime been going on since the beginning of time, but I tell you, it's just when you 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 can't even must sit down. You know, couples can't even must sit down and try to work out their problems without just killing each other. You know, and just you know, and that you, this black on black crime. You, like I say, I hate that because if somebody else can brush up, brush up against you from another cult, cult, culture or, or whatever. 
oh, it, oh, it's okay, it's fine. But then time your own American black person brush it, you want to stab them, you want to beat them down to the ground, you want to kill them, you just want to act a darn fool, you know. And it shouldn't be like that. You know, we need unity. We need un- We need to come together as one. Yeah, and you know what? And these kind of people, you know, we got a lot of people talking about on um on face not Facebook but um YouTube about going back to Africa and all that. A lot of these black folks, we don't even much want in Africa. I tell you, <laughs> it's a lot of we do not want. We don't want y'all in there. We really don't. No. no. And it's sad. Like I said, it's just real sad because I know that a lot of our ancestors would be very disappointed to see all the hard work and effort, exactly. effort the sweat, blood, and tears. The, the times they had to get raped or the times they had to get beaten that they prayed for days for salvation. Exactly. Or they, they prayed that the kids or their generations that came before, after them wouldn't be affected. Right. But when you see how the, the generations that have come after completely disrespect our ancestors and do the complete opposite, I mean, what? come on, y'all. y'all we, we have to do better. And it's a joint effort. It's not something that can just be done right. with one person. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why we're recording. That's the reason why we're bringing y'all this content. Because we want to give you guys a glimpse of hope to say, hey, they're very relatable. You know what I mean? They, hey, right. they look just like me. We ain't no different than you guys. Exactly. We, we, cut, we cut from the same blood just as well as you guys. The right. only difference is that we chose to take the resources that we got and actually utilize them. Mm-hmm. Because what what's the I know um you know the, the scripture um queen it's the uh faith without works is dead. Right, queen. exactly. Mm-hmm. So if mm-hmm. you got all the faith in the world but you're not putting any action towards it, you're not going to be successful. And and don't count just your small blessings, your big blessings, count your small ones too. Right. You know what I'm saying? So instead of you arguing with that person or being upset with that person, you took a deep breath, you walked away. That's a small blessing. That's a small goal. That's you, true. Maybe the next time, you know, you'll do something different. You know, you'll join that gym. You'll go paint a picture. You know, find something that you love. Stop looking for love in these men. Stop exactly. looking for love in exactly. these women. Exactly. You know exactly. what I mean? And find you gotta, love within yourself. Exactly. You have to love yourself enough to don't don't settle for all this foolishness you know and you got to make no. yourself your step yourself happy if you can't make nobody happy Period. if you can't make yourself happy you have to start from the inside to the outside Period. Mm-hmm. And stop looking at all these girls on Instagram and looking at all these girls on fa- Facebook thinking, oh, they got all the money. They so happy. Them the most miserable people. The right. queen could tell you, we have had conversations with millionaires about this in the past as right. well. Mm-hmm. What we said, you can have a big old mansion, but it could be just as empty as a hole. It, you go in there, ain't nothing in that house. Exactly. Don't think because people have money that that, is, that, measures, your, that measures your happiness. No, it helps to make things it makes things easier in life and it gives you certain pleasures you may have not had before but it definitely cannot buy you love and you know it what can't. do you know how many married couples they living in a the house they might have all the material possession but they sleep they sleeping in one room and the other one sleeping in the other room they don't do nothing together they don't go nowhere together they just like just an empty soul walking around so yeah and you it, it is and 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 I do believe that it's because a lot of us are going based off of what we thought was the perfect relationship or we thought was supposed to look like when you got married. Right. Because, hey, I did it. Right. You know, I did that same thing. Got mm-hmm. married when I was 25 years old, you know, and mm-hmm. you'd be so young. You you you, you don't even, I mean, I'm, I'll be, you know, turning into my 36 solar year in two weeks and I'm Still thinking to myself, I gotta grow. I got growing up to do, y'all. Right. You know, right. you always have time to grow. You always make time to grow. Cause when you do that, you challenge yourself to do better. And when you know better, you do better. And that is true. Now, that's some right. of us may not, but some of us will. You know, and that's the reason why we really wanted to pump out this content about love versus lust. Mm-hmm. Because here's the gag, you guys. Maybe y'all don't know the difference. So if mm-hmm. you don't know the difference. This is why we want to put these episodes out so that you can come back and say, you know what? She might be right. I, I do remember a time or two, you know, right, right. X, Y, Z happened and, mm-hmm. you know, maybe I overreacted and maybe I should have took a breath or go do yoga or, you know what I'm saying? Go do something constructive instead of being doing things destructive. We got enough people in our world that are causing chaos and havoc, and I was, you know, so. That's true. And I was thinking about um maybe we can do some, um, 
you know, like maybe I'll find some old African proverbs and maybe we'll do some, you know, you know, two twice, you know, twice a week. And we can just talk about, you know, what we need, you know, to help us to be better people, higher version of ourselves, you know, and yes. to be better people. So we can talk about it or maybe we can have like a little book club and read a chapter and talk about it and stuff like that. You know, what we got out of it, what we learned from it. Mm hmm. Yeah, that would be nice for the audience to see, right? Um, you know, to see, you know, see that there are additional things that they can use. And again, if you don't have the resources, we will have the resources available for you guys. Um, I think we did agree to the fact that we are going to do some ten things on Wednesdays and Sundays and try to get you guys at least two um videos or two podcast right. sessions, right? Week. Right. So um, I can say, I would like to say now, I'll speak it now, this mm -hmm, Sunday, mm -hmm. we'll, maybe we can just do a short video, five right. minutes, give you guys the, the proverbs, and then we'll check back in with you guys on Wednesday to see how far you guys have gotten. And then, you know, and then I was thinking about doing, you know, maybe all who participate in the discussion or whatever, we can send you out a little gift or something, just letting us know we appreciate you as a subscriber and participating in, you know, the conversation. Absolutely. I firmly agree. Um, you know, again, if you guys need any help for any domestic violence, mm -hmm. um, please be sure if you can't call 911, you can dial 211 in your state or you can dial 411. They will provide you with resources that you need, whether it's a domestic violence, um, you know, place to stay, clothes, workshops, uh, anything of that nature. Again, my, my email is lorenlux38 at gmail.com. Um, did you want to give them your email? Yes, as well? my my email is a queen who cares at gmail dot com. A queen who cares. Make sure you add the s on cares at gmail dot com, and you can you can reach out to me through my email. You can reach out to me through my comments. And um, let me see, can I I give my business number as well? You can always text me or something like that and leave a message or whatever. Mm -hmm. And just stay tuned for us for our next upload, which, right, you know, right. again, we'll try to get that upload out for you guys by tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, and again, just don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, please share this message with, you know, your mother, your brother, your cousin, right, <laughs> anybody yeah. who you think can um, get some, you know, good yeah, make nuggets from. Exactly. From make sure you share it with Puka Head and all of them. Come on, Pookie. What they say, Pookie and Ray Ray. Uh, you know what? Uh, I forgot. I got to tell you too. Um, when Dale was listening to the um the other broadcast we did, and he gonna talk about Jessica. She know she was too funny. I said she wasn't. She didn't know she was being funny, but it was funny because if you don't know how to be smart, you can Google smart. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> I didn't even remember I said that, and it's on recording, Lord. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sometimes when you just be ruling, the brain is giving you good content. You just be saying stuff. You say if you don't know how to be smart, just type in, um, just type in smart. <laughs> now that was a good one. That was a good one, Miss Queen. I'm happy you got that on tape, so you can run that back. You get a good laugh. <laughs> But, and, you know. and we got to, we have we got to keep comical in there. You know what I was thinking about too? Maybe we can have some sitcoms too. Do some yeah, sitcoms. we spoke about that before doing like a little funny skit. It was funny because I have a good friend. Mm -hmm. Me and her was just talking about something funny today. Maybe I can get some creative ideas right, from right, some other right, people. Right, right, right. We could do a little skit. That would be good. We should yeah. think about that. I guess exactly. Okay, my number. If you need to reach out to me, will be you can you can always contact me. This number nine zero four. Four five zero three zero six six nine zero four 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 five zero three zero six six. You can text me. If I don't pick up, just leave a message. So, um, hey, this is a person. This is not just a YouTuber. We are not just YouTubers. That's gonna be just on the platform saying we're trying to get all these subscribers, trying to get money and all this kind of stuff. We really do care about the people. And I tell you, my daughter did my logo today, and um. She put a crown. I wanted the the like you know. I wanted the um uh, the the world in the middle, like the world globe, the globe in the middle, and then a crown mm -hmm. on top, and then the hands at the bottom, half of hands at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And so we That's are here. Beautiful. We really care about people. We have a desire to help as many people as we can. We can't help everybody in the whole wide world, but 
whoever the universe leads us and guides us to touch their lives, we try to be, we'll try to help in, within our means, where it be resource and just encouraging words and motivation and uplifting. Just like I say, I'm on my way to getting a, a, um, a website together for a consultation. Like I said, I ain't trying to break the bank, but hey, I got to be paying for my time because when you're trying to help people, you got to put a lot of energy. <laughs> it's a lot of energy. You absolutely <laughs> do. Absolutely, y'all. y'all. Listen, y'all pray for us as we'll be praying for you. Mm-hmm. And make sure y'all stay, in, stay tuned, stay connected with us. You got our numbers. You have our emails. We, we mean what we say and we do what we mean. So if you need help, please don't feel like you can't reach out. Everything will be 100% confidential. And like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please make sure that you share this podcast. Uh, with all, again, your mama, your daddy, your grandma, I want everybody to hear what we got to say. Exactly. Um, I think that they can all benefit from it. Um, and like I said, I can't wait to talk to y'all guys soon. Thank you so much, Queen, for you know bringing me in tonight. So oh, we yeah. can do this. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's always awesome a pleasure. Episode. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure have, as well. Always a pleasure to have you on the air, and um, we are going to get ready to end this video, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and happiness. <laughs>